Hi guys, welcome to the part 3 of my Zossi security camera system videos. Here we're gonna be talking about how we can fix this annoying poor wireless signal issue. So a couple of points before we start. As a good practice, if the cameras are around the house like this, I would try to place the MVR somewhere in the middle, to make sure there is the same distance between each camera and the MVR. And the MVR is not maybe too close to one camera and too far from the other one. But of course I understand this might not be possible to do all the time, or if it is, it doesn't necessarily guarantee a good signal to all the cameras. The cameras also come with an extra antenna with an extended cable. Replacing the original antenna with this one may fix the poor signal issue for one of the cameras that is probably behind an obstacle that is blocking the signal. So one way to fix this poor wireless signal problem is to use the built-in repeater functionality of the cameras. So each camera is by default in the station mode, which basically means it functions as a wireless IP camera that connects wirelessly to the NVR. But we can change that functionality and use it as a repeater too. As a repeater, the camera is not only a wireless IP camera, but also can extend the signal for other cameras. For example here, camera 1 can connect to the NVR with no problem but camera 2 is just too far and cannot connect to the MVR. So I'm gonna configure the camera 1 as a repeater, so it can extend the range for the camera 2 as well. Before I do, I need to make sure both cameras are powered on and within the wireless range of the NVR. After I finish the configuration, then I can take them to their actual location. So on the NVR, I can right click on the screen and go to the video manage menu. Then I'll go to the repeater section. So here I'm gonna configure channel 1 which is the camera 1 as the repeater. To do that I just need to click on the plus sign in front of it and then select the camera that is supposed to connect to the repeater, which in my case is the camera 2. The cameras are gonna reboot and then reconnect to the MVR as we configured them here. In this example though, using the camera 1 as a repeater is not gonna work. Because camera 2 is just too far from either the camera 1 or the NVR. So what I can do is to configure the camera 2 to connect to my wireless router instead of just directly connecting to the NVR. Then the NVR can reach the camera through the wireless router. So now I need to connect the computer directly with an Ethernet cable to the IP camera. Then I'll need to assign a static IP address to the local area network of the computer. The IP address needs to be on the same network as the IP camera. These Zossi IP cameras have a default IP address of 192.168.1.168. So I'm gonna give it 192.168.1.10 which is on the same network as the camera. I will also disable the wireless network to make sure I'm only communicating through the LAN. Now I can open a browser and go to 192.168.1.168 and log into the camera. Next I'll go to the setup tab, then network setup and then Wi-Fi. Here is where I can configure the camera to connect to my wireless network. I will also need to give a valid static IP address here. This IP address has to be on the same network as my wireless router and NVR. My network is 192.168.1.0 and that means if I give it 192.168.1.99 it should work fine. But if your network address is something else then you should give it an IP address which is valid on your network. Next I'll go to the local setup tab and I'll change the IP address and gateway and set them on a different network because the default one is on the same network as the Wi-Fi. So at this point the camera must be connected to the wireless network. So on the NVR I'll go to the video manage menu 
and under the added devices I'm gonna delete the camera 2 which is basically channel 2 then as the channel 2 is selected I'll click on the manual edit button here I'm gonna type in the camera's wireless static IP address which in my case is 192.168.1.99 and then I'm gonna enable it and as you can see camera 2 is successfully connected and we can see the picture here Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you again and I see you next time.